Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at embedding and linking both sound and video files in your website. So it's really a cool way to add an extra element of media to your pages by throwing in some sound or throwing in some video. And that's exactly what we're going to take a look at doing. And by the end of this video, you're going to know how to both link and embed sound and video. And there is quite a bit of a difference, as you will see in just a minute. Now, before we get started, I would like to point out that something that you ought to keep in mind um, as you're designing a page, uh, adding some video, adding some sound, whatever, you need to remember that your website users or the visitors of your website are going to need some plugins installed on their system or on their browser in order to view or hear sound. Um, if you have a .mov file or a QuickTime movie, the user is going to have to have QuickTime plugin installed in order to view your QuickTime movie, and you know, etc., etc., etc. Depending on the media, they're going to have to have the correct plugin. If it's a Flash movie, they need to have the Flash plugin. So that's just something you're going to want to keep in mind. Now. Most browsers these days make it very easy to download and install plugins, doing the majority of the work um, automatically. Usually all the browser does is prompts you, you know, asks for permission basically, and says, hey, you need this plugin, can I download and install it? And all you have to do is hit OK, it downloads, installs it, you restart your browser, you're good to go. But, you know, it's just something that I would thought I'd throw out there, something you ought to keep in mind as you are adding video and sound to your websites. So with that in mind, let's take a look at linking media files. Before we can start linking, we need to get our sound and media sound and movie files, excuse me, into our site right here, into our site folder. So let's open up Adobe Bridge, and I have a .mp3 file, a .mov file, and a .wmv file all here in Bridge. I'm going to click and drag them over to Dreamweaver. You can see that they're all sitting now on what is called the root level of my site. That's WMV, .mov, .mp3 files. I want to organize them into a folder. So I'm going to right click on my site folder. It's a folder at the very top. And I'm going to hit new folder. I now have a new folder on the root level of my site. I'm going to type the word media as the name. And now I'm going to select the chill.mp3, hold down my command or control key, and select the movie and the WMV files drag them into the media folder. Okay, so now that we have them in their own media folder, just leave the media folder open. Now that we have them in their own folder, we are going to take a look at linking them. I'm going to scroll whoops, down to the bottom of this page, and I have these words, QuickTime, Windows Media Player, and the series of characters MP3. I almost said Word. So I'm going to highlight this little series of characters, MP3. And I'm going to come down to my properties panel, and here I have the word link and an input text field. It is into here that I want to type the URL of what we want to link. So I'm going to point to the file. I'm using a little point to file tool. It's this little crosshair. I'm just clicking and dragging. I'm going to drag it out and drop it on top of chill.mp3. You can see that that is now an active link. I'm going to hit Command or Control S to save it. And I'm going to come up here and select Preview in Firefox. I'm hitting that little globe button. Preview in Firefox, the hotkey for your default browser is F12. I've set Firefox to my default browser. That is default within Dreamweaver. So I'm going to preview in Firefox. Here is our page, and here's the word, I'll just say, MP3. I'm going to select it, and you can see what we get is this sound. Now, not only is just the sound playing, but we have this play, pause button. We can use the scrub bar and move it back to the beginning. We can adjust the sound volume, make it very quiet. Or we can make it very loud. Whatever you want to do, you've got all these options here. Okay, so we just linked the MP3 file. Let's take a look at linking the QuickTime file. Just highlight the word QuickTime, and again, come to the link input text field, and grab the point to file tool. Hit sunset.mov. All right. Again, save this, Command or Control S, and hit the button F12. We're previewing this in Firefox. I'm going to hit the word QuickTime, and here we go. 
it opens it up we've got a blank page and it's just got the video right smack dab in the middle of the window and we have our controller which is the play and pause button we can scrub through and we also have our you know move forward and move backward buttons so that's how you link up QuickTime and MP3. Let's take a look at linking the .wmv file. I'm going to come down here, use the point to file tool, and point to that .wmv file. Now I'm just going to quickly let you know before I, you know, test this here, that I already have Windows Media Player set as my default player for .wmv files. And when you actually download this on the web, you're actually going to be downloading it off a server, not just referencing it from your hard drive. So what's going to happen is going to be something a little different. Let's take a look at what happens here, and then I'll explain what happens when you actually upload this onto the web. Let's hit Command or Control S to save your file, and hit F12. Okay, I'm going to select Windows Media Player. Check this out. It opens up and begins playing here in Windows Media Player. Now, it's doing this again because it's not really downloading it off the internet, it's just sort of testing it out for me and because this is my default player. Now, if this were the web, what would happen is you would select that Windows Media Player link and a little dialog box would pop up and say, hey, do you want me to save this to your hard disk or do you want me to open it? And if you want me to open it, what program do you want me to use to open it? Do you want me to use Windows Media Player? Do you want me to use Real Player? Do you want me to use QuickTime Player? What do you want me to do? So. Or you could just hit cancel and it wouldn't download it at all. So you get a little bit of an option there with the Windows Media Player. All right, And that's how you link these media files here in Dreamweaver. Let's take a look at embedding them. Now embedding um, a media file is quite a bit different because you're actually going to be placing it in the context of your website. And what I mean by context is you're going to be placing it right there with everything else on your site it's not gonna have to open up a blank window or just you know switch to a blank window to play the sound or play the movie or whatever so I'm going to look at taking care of embedding the sound file first come up here to your common tab or if you're using the menu view go to the common selection and come over here to your media button alright and just click and hold the arrow and we're going to come down here and select plugin. You can see this has all of that flash, flash button, flash text, flash video, flash paper, everything. We're just going to come down and select plugin though. And now we have our select file window. I'm going to select site root. That brings me back to the root of my site. I'm also going to select the media folder. Okay, now that media folder is sitting on the root of the site. And in here is chill.mp3. Okay, now you can see we have this little plugin box but actually we're not going to link up this uh, mp3 file using a file we have here in our uh, our files panel here in our site we're gonna link this to a sound that's already out on the web I'm gonna show you how to do that here here in the source area instead of selecting our chill.mp3 we're gonna go out onto the web and find an mp3 that's already hosted somewhere and we're going to try doing that. Matter of fact, I'm going to use the same exact MP3, just pre-downloaded. I haven't downloaded it. Well, I have downloaded it, but this is the copy of it that's already on the web. So let's come over here and open up Firefox. And over here, I have this sound file. We can hit the play button. You can see it's the same exact sound file. But what interests me here is up here in the URL bar. I want to right-click on that and hit select all and then right click on it again and hit copy. All right, I'm going to close this tab. Okay, so we have that closed. And I'm going to select the source. I'm going to right click and hit paste. All right, so we have this MP3 that's already out there on the web that we are going to be referencing from our file or our website. I'm going to save this and I'm going to hit F12 preview this in my browser and you can immediately hear the music start playing and when we scroll down you can see this little play and pause button now notice that that's all it is it doesn't have the whole scrub bar and everything else sound options etc well let's fix that back here in Dreamweaver notice that this is just a simple 32 by 32 box alright we can adjust this let's change the width to oh I don't know 200 alright makes it much wider let's save it and F12 to preview it. And now take a look at it. 
you got your sound options, you've got your scrub bar, you've got all the options that you had just before. So close that, and there we go. We've embedded a sound file. I'm going to delete that though. Actually, no, I won't delete it. Let's come down here beyond the Amazon area, and I am going to embed the QuickTime movie here. I'm going to use the same protocol. We're going to come down here, grab the plugin media holder, and we're not going to reference a file that's out there on the web. We're just going to reference something here that's in our library. So we're just going to double click on the sunset.mov. Double click on that. And you can see, again, we have 32 by 32 width and height, which we don't want. And I'll show you in just a second. So F12. I just saved it. Hit F12. Pause that music. You can see that our movie is very small. We want it to be slightly larger than that. I happen to know that my video file was 320 pixels by 240 pixels. And I also happen to know that that little controller at the bottom, that's not included in the video by the way, is 16 pixels from top to bottom. So I'm going to change my height to from 240 to 256. Okay. Now, let's save our file and hit F12, preview this. I'm going to pause the sound and come down here and you can see we have our video playing and it's embedded right here within the rest of the content of our page. All right, let's take a look at embedding the .wmv movie file. Come up here, grab that plugin once again. You can see because that was the last thing I selected, it's up there at the top of the list. So I, I don't have to click and drag and go to the bottom of the list again. I can simply just press it. And here I want to select sunset.wmv. Double click on that. Again, I'm just going to set the width and height to 320 by 240. Okay. And let's save our file. Hit F12. I'm going to shut off the music again. And we have our .mov movie file. And down here, we have our .wmv file. Notice we don't have any controls or anything over it. It's just the video sitting there. And then when it stops, it stops. Okay? So that's how you embed video and sound. And that's also how you link video and sound for that matter. But that's how you get that stuff into your website. Now, there are different ways of editing it and, you know, setting it to auto start, um, allowing it to repeat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can do all kinds of things with it, but we will save that for another video. So I hope you have learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Thank you very much for watching.